Oh yes, welcome to 1999 graphics, everybody. Playing offline. Alrighty, <clears throat> let me just uh, quickly prepare this video right here. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, in today's video, we are actually faced with one of humanity's biggest tragedies that can happen ever, right? Broken internet. You know, sometimes your Wi-Fi router just breaks. <laughs> like twice a year, I've had that. Or maybe there's just a general internet outage that can happen sometimes. Or maybe you can just unplug your ethernet cable. Anyway, it does occur sometimes that you don't have internets on your hands, right? And this is actually a big problem because you need it for literally any, any, anything, right? I mean, okay, on Firefox it's quite understandable. It's a browser, but especially for games you need access these days, especially also for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That's like been the, one of the biggest issues sometimes of mine. I do not have very good internet that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> again quite a bit of a big problem because this is actually the first ever flight simulator to require permanent internet access right you know with all the other flight simulators we had it all downloaded on the pc right all the content of the flight simulator itself but with microsoft things are a little bit different yes it's true all of those you know modelings all of the satellite sceneries whatever it is ocean masks whatever are all uploaded in the cloud not on the computer you know it's all temporarily downloaded on the computer when you spawn into a flight right this is what requires the internet access yeah, it would be pretty hard to download pretty much the entire planet on your computer. Yes, I, I, as far as I remember, I think the whole installation of this flight simulator, if you were to download it, it would be, I think, 2,000 terabytes? Yep, yeah, 2 petabytes? Would be a little hard on my 5 terabyte SSD. No, that's what you need the internet access for. But do you? Yes, actually it's true. You can play Microsoft Flight Simulator without actual internets. What will it look like? What will the planes be like? Let's find out. There we go. Welcome to the loading screen. We have a Rhino. I'm pretty sure our installation now with this configure. Oh, due to an unexpected error, your game license cannot be authenticated. So what it's saying right here is that we cannot actually access multiplayer, I guess, because of this. But we can, I think, still join the game, right? All right. So <clears throat> welcome to Offline Flight Simulator 2020. How about that? Um, yeah, let's actually try that. See how bad this is going to look without the downloaded imagery. Am I right? Let me go to, where can we go? Uh, just a random big airport. You know what? Let's go to London City. Let's maybe uh, try the 77 Dreamliner here. What I can already tell is actually the imagery of the satellite is the here. That's cool. All right, let's check this out. Come on. All right, and then we have this weird loading screen. What is that supposed to? I've never seen that one. <laughs> what the hell is that? All right, so welcome to London. This doesn't look all that bad, right of the bat. Okay, of course, we have to say this is a major big city, of course, London, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure it's been partially downloaded in, into the computer before, right? Because, you know, it has some spe special buildings and everything. And loading all of that from the cloud every time you spawn in to a flight here probably would take forever, which it already does anyway, so you know what I mean. <laughs> so, you know, the, some of the world has already been partially um, added into the flight simulator. So that's that. You know, after all, the actual installation of the Microsoft Flight Simulator is still 120 gigabytes. And, uh, yeah... I can see where that 120 gigabytes somehow went. Especially that you do to arena, whatever that is. But all right, this is what London looks like. We can maybe go a little bit upstairs. See what the rest looks. This looks like regular Microsoft flights. Did I, did I, did I fully disconnect the Ethernet cable? I think I did. This genuinely looks like normal Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That's weird. Uh huh. That's, okay, that's genuinely interesting. So, let me go to a bit of a exotic place, not the middle of a huge city that we f always fly in, of course. I kind of just, in this video, want to see this flight simulator being completely ugly. Alright, so where do we go? Some random place. How about this one right here? Ponta Delgada. Alright, so welcome to... Somewhere, that's the point. Yep, this is what that looks like. All right, and we can finally start to see some difference here now. You can definitely tell this is not satellite scenery. Like, all the fields that you have down here are, like, automatically just generated fields just added into the damn island. I'm pretty sure this island looks somewhat close to what it is here. But this is just really just randomly generated stuff, 
especially here also the airport looks very much different to what it would look like probably in real life i would imagine this is uh, quite a bit uglier now this flight simulator with all the um you know stuff missing so that is what that looks like now this looks very much closer to you know what you would have in default vanilla x plane as well you know so this is not even that bad especially here also in the plane of course there's no difference it's not going to download the entire cockpit every time you spawn into a flight no it's all pre-installed even dave is still here he doesn't need internet access but honestly he's that dumb to not need that honestly all right so that's interesting maybe let's try out another place let me go to saint Barthelemy or something i love that island i just want to see what that looks like all right, welcome to... Oh my god, this looks very... Got grass. Oh, this is very interesting. All right. Okay, so this is what St. Barthelemy... It really doesn't look bad, actually. Wait, the rock formation is here. I'm pretty sure this is another airport that's been, like, partially downloaded before, right? Even though... Uh, most of the 3D buildings are missing. All right. Normally, this would look much better here in the flight simulator. That's so interesting to see. I think the building's actually bit sunk into the ground, isn't it? I mean, that's actually really nice, though. I can really not complain, especially the trees. But no, really, the trees are still there. Everything is cool. Did you see that fence just pop up? Yeah, I can see. The Flight Simulator 2020 was definitely not built for offline use. Maybe that makes sense, because everyone these days has, like, a proper internet access, with the exception of me, right? Let me try, um, somewhere in the middle of really nowhere. Yemel Yanavo. How about that? Alrighty, welcome to the Great Russia Land, and you can really now tell the difference. I mean, the trees are all looking nice, but look at this. Ooh, this weird patch of land. Holy moly. Okay, that that's not oh my god, that's something that would need improvement. But why? Why would you ever fly here? No offense, of course, Russia. I love Russia. I'm pretty sure none of my viewers here will actually live at this place, right? Like in the middle of nowhere. Okay. That's actually acceptable enough. But I I, I want to see this flight simulator being a little ugly. So let's make it ugly. Try the lowest settings of graphics. I've never actually done that. I thought no, I haven't. I haven't done the lowest settings. So let's go to the lowest settings. Alright, so let's start with um turning that to low end. There we go. Let's make it as bad as it can be. There we go. Everything is quite literally set to low or off. A literal potential could probably run this flight simulator now. Let's see how bad it looks. Oh. Oh, damn. The run Look at the run. <laughs> nice. That's quite potato friendly, even though it only changed the scenery properly. Like, the cockpit is just like it normally is. It just made it a little uglier, the scenery. Look at, look, look at the runway. Holy moly. I want to see the plane ugly as well. How, how can it make that possible? I mean, I can change the render scaling. Make it less. Worse graphics. Yeah, much nicer. Oh, yes. Welcome to 1999 graphics, everybody. Playing offline. Great to see. Yeah. Mm -mm. Welcome back to Wizards Air 1. But yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm, I'm always deeply impressed with it. Unless there's like an update that breaks the whole thing. But apparently offline usage is quite Wizards Air 1 approved. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Old Man the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Garvin Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.